Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review of Angel Number One. Uh, this is a book from Boom Comics. Uh, looks like we're getting a new restart, refresh to the Angel series. Uh, so I definitely want to check it out. Big fan of the TV show, uh, and I've been reading some of the books. So let's check out the team. This is written by Christopher Canwell. I'm a big fan of his writing as well, with uh, art by Daniel Bayless. Color by Roman Titov and assist by Maria Agustina Vallejo. Uh, letters by Becca Carey. And as I mentioned, this is a book from Boom Comics. I uh, just want to go back real quick. These are some of the variant covers. So we have the main cover uh, with Angel and Cordelia on a poster. Uh, and then we have Spike in the car, in Angel's car, really. Um, so, yeah, let's get into this. Uh, what's going on in this in this comic? So <clears throat> I haven't been keeping up much with the Angel series, but I did recently start reading uh, Buffy the Last uh, Vampire Slayer, uh, and I figured this was a good jumping on point uh, to to check out Angel. So here's what's here's the synopsis, and then we'll get into a little bit of the art and what I thought of the issue. Uh, everyone's favorite vampire with a soul returns, Angel for Hire. Welcome to Angel for Hire, starring Angel and his co-star Cordelia. But wait, is an angel just a celebrity? No, he leads a double life as the real monster hunter for angel investigations. Sometimes this double life can get his friends in trouble as Wesley is recovering from a for horrific cor curse. Yeah, that was pretty intense. Angel stumbles into a series of supernatural events and finds himself sucked into an unexpected mysterious world. He soon faces a terrifying enemy who sees him as an intruder. Um, so, yeah, as I mentioned, this uh, Christopher Campbell's Somebody whose work I've been following uh, quite closely in the past few, uh, probably months, maybe a year. Uh, done some work with Vault uh, and some other things here and there with, uh, with uh, I believe, Marvel. Uh, so, yeah, I'm very interested in figuring out what kind of twist we get for Angel. Um, I do want to touch on the art. It's really important for a book that's a number one, I feel, uh, to really introduce the readers to the world. Uh, here we see that there's definitely something going on. We get introduced to this character who we don't really know who they are yet. Uh, and we hear the narration as they go through. Uh, then we kind of flash forward or flash backwards to um, it, the intro for the TV show. It looks like just uh, I've never been really good with reading music on comics. Like when, when somebody plays a song or anything like that. Uh, but here we do have the you know the theme song starts, and if you remember, like in my head, what it was playing, it was just really the the theme song from from the show. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, we have uh, you know the harmonica solo. We get Angel. It looks like there's some kind of police procedure that they're both a part in. This was really interesting because I like I because I haven't been reading it. I didn't really know how a boom was approaching or relaunching the character. Uh, obviously, Angel in the TV show was not an investigator, so the fact that, or sorry, was not a, a celebrity. Uh, so the fact that in this world, and that Cordelia was always one that was looking to be an actress, so I'm glad that's working out for her. Uh, so yeah, but let's check out some more art here. Um, <clears throat> I really like that they don't feel the need to do just straight up likenesses. Like I think the art team takes a little bit of freedom. With like having some identifiers, like right, Cordelia with the big hair, and obviously one of the better looking people in the in in the show. Uh, so here we have that translated to the comics. Um, there was always something about Angel's hair that I thought I I found really interesting and really funny. He was kind of really something that really um, he worried about in the show too. So I think it's funny that his hair is like. It's in a very in a style that's very uh, defined for a celebrity, I think. Um, but overall, this book it sets you up in this world, and then uh, it starts reintroducing or introducing if you're a first time reader or, or first time for your for you in this franchise. It just int introduces the full cast, the supporting cast for Angel and his story. Um, I think the celebrity double life thing it's a it's an interesting approach. Um, I'd be interested to see, is this what the real world is here? Or is this some kind of magic thing that has, uh, you know, like an alternate universe that was set up by magic? I don't know. I don't I like 
my mind just kind of racing, thinking of all the possibilities that it could be. Uh, or it could be just as straightforward as like, yeah, in this world, he's also a celebrity. Uh, and it is what it is. Uh, but I like the approach. It does make it, it, it invites conflict and, and intrigue uh, and problems for Angel having to lead that double life, as we know from, from many superhero comics. Uh, so, yeah, big fan and share. Uh, I really enjoyed this book. Um, I think, like I said, the art team is really capturing what it feels like uh, to me and to be in that L.A. scene uh, from the Angel show. So I really appreciated that. Uh, so I think if you're an Angel fan and you want to get back into some more of the stuff, this is a great, great uh, book to pick up. If you are new to the franchise, um, yeah, I mean, you could check this out, see if it's for you. Uh, I, I love the supernatural aspect of it, but it, it doesn't get um, highlighted here as much as, as I would normally think. But there's definitely a lot of supernatural stuff happening. Not that it's not. And, and I think hopefully they'll... Uh, flesh out the characters or the supporting characters a little bit more as we kind of go by if you're not familiar with them for those that are familiar with them like people that watch the show you can already um there's like a shorthand that that these characters already 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 display so overall very much enjoy this book so thanks for watching everyone remember to share like subscribe hit the bell so you know when we go live uh and let us know what other books you'd like us to review uh, make sure to check out our lives. That is Sundays, most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. On the latest one, we talked about our favorite stuff from 2021. That was part two of that. Uh, we also got into Peacemaker, Book of Boba Fett, uh, The Eternal, since it's finally on Disney Plus, and uh, my co hosts were able to watch it. Uh, so, yeah, all that good stuff. So, make sure to check it out. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye bye.